all right so before i can put on the other hitch that is the load distribution hitch for hauling the trailer to take it to get it uh checked out at the dealer or for the recall i gotta get this pin out so you can see that it locks and mom doesn't know where the key is uh, we actually had the issue when we were grabbing the truck we're trying to figure out how to get that off because i actually had another hitch i was going to use um, it just so happens that this one was the correct size for the uh, the flatbed uh, car hauler trailer so we just left it and now as you can see i'm going to cut this one off i'm going to cut this off right here that way i can put in our weight distribution hitch for hauling the rv so let's go ahead and knock that out Just like that. <clears throat> so, I, I have a feeling that we're starting to run out of <laughs> uh, oxygen, which it is kind of low. So, that's why I was kind of having an issue cutting that a little bit, but I got through it. 
go ahead and turn your bottles off whenever you're done and then open up your lines bleed out your lines and then we're going to take the truck over by the rv and we will get the uh weight distribution hitch attached so bleed off the oxygen line you can kind of hear that and then once that's bled off open up the acetylene let that bleed off and then boom put all your tools away throw my hat back on oh yeah you guys don't gotta look at my ugly head <laughs> All right, so I got the hitch on the truck. Now, it, it's been a hot minute since I've reviewed the paperwork and actually how to get this adjusted and set up. Because originally, I was going to be putting this on the 250, uh, the truck that I had. So I'm gonna have to go through, I'm gonna have to readjust it because the ride height for mom's truck is a lot different than the f-250 that i had so i'm gonna go through i'm gonna review what i need to and then we'll come back out and i'll show you guys how to set it up all right so i went through and i've looked at the instructions and also a video just to double check and i just want to let you know that i am not a professional when it comes to installing weight distribution hitch so this is the easy lift uh, system it is the recurve uh, so r3 and there's there's other videos it's from uh, uh, camco i believe which I'll, I'll put it like here somewhere uh, on the screen uh, so you guys can look them up all right but uh this i bought this when i bought the trailer because it's required you kind of need it so i'm just going to go ahead and and set this up i'm not really going to talk about i mean well i could talk about what i'm doing but basically you need to start off with a nice level surface that your trailer is going to be on so the ground is about as level as i'm going to get and you can kind of see over here you can see that i am nice and level all right and then you got to take a tape measure so let me set you guys down over here so i got you set up and then what you're wanting to do is take the the measurement of your hitch uh, seventeen or I guess it's to the top of the ball 19 all right and then you're wanting to go roughly like one inch above so with that 19 you want the top of your ball to be one inch above 
what it is. You want this to to come up. Which I'm gonna have to go get wrenches to untighten that. <sighs> Those aren't supposed to be tight yet. Be right back. screw all the way in. was 19 so <clears throat> I'm gonna have to take this completely out all right let me go up one so that's the very bottom. Yep, that'd be good there. All right. So you want it to be roughly an inch. Of where it normally is. Now, the thumb screw up here on the top, you have it screwed all the way in, and then you want to mark it. So, I need to go get a marker that way I can do that. Then, you're going to unscrew it. Uh, it says roughly five, five revolutions. That way, you can see there's a screw down here in the bottom to be able to set once that is done, and then kind of go from there so this is where you're going to be setting um, the the pitch of this based off of how much it lowers your truck or not so let's do that all right got it marked up i don't know if you can see it but there you go it's a silver on a gold nut so that's screwed in all the way yeah, set up over there. All right. So that gives us our height that we need. <clears throat> and then it said to screw it, undo it. Was it five times? So that's. There's one, two, three, four, five, All right, so when you pick that up, now there's a little set screw on the bottom. So let's pull this out, rotate it, put it back in. You can see there's a screw right here that you gotta screw all the way in to get it set. So I don't have the wrench for that now. So. set all right. all right so 
I'm attempt to back this truck up and line it up with the ball. Uh, I might not get it the first time. <laughs> Probably not the second time either, but I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's only fifth time it's charm but it'll line up there but now i need to measure what the uh fender wheel is going to be so we'll measure it, it says almost 39 so 38 and three quarter 38 and three quarter you only want it to be like you only want it to be like an inch difference the front is 36 and a half you guys so if you caught that mistake that i was making the other day so this is a whole new day i'm wearing a whole new shirt i actually got rained out and as you can kind of see behind me it's still really overcast and we've already had rain uh, this morning there's still rain in the forecast i'm just trying to get out here to finish up this video for you guys why it's not raining currently so go ahead and get you guys flipped around here you can see i do have the pan installed Right now, I do not have the arms in here because I actually want to show you guys. So, if I step back, you can kind of see how much the truck is squatting. So, right now, I don't have those arms in. And you can see over here as well that the foot is all the way up off the block. Not a lot, but it's up off the block. And then our measurement here was 39. So right now I'm at basically 35 and a half. Okay. So that's three and a half inches. And then the front was at basically 36. And right now it's at 37. So the front has come up an inch and the back has squatted three and a half. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these bars in. So I'm gonna raise this up. Wrong way. Right, so at this point here i no longer have any weight down on the truck and i should be able to check the measurement on that but what i want to do is I actually want to lift it higher than the original 39 so i want to be able to bring up the truck a little bit i want to bring up the truck So what I have found is whenever you lift this up to B, so your original height, whatever your original height is, lift it, the trailer and your truck up after you've locked it in to roughly two inches above what the set height is whenever you're putting your uh, your stabilizer bars in for the, for the weight distribution, right? It's gonna make it a little easier to put in uh, whenever you're trying to lock them in to your uh, brackets on the side or if you have the chain or whatever it is all right so let's go ahead and get those installed i should be up high enough all right i went ahead and turned off the truck so you guys can see this so there's little grooves right here in this that actually locks into this pin on the inside but if you put it in to where that groove isn't into that area you'll see when i push down it pops out now I'll rotate it back it locks it into that position all right so i come over here i still can't lift this up by hand okay so i have to use a tool to do that which i have right here it's the tool that comes with the kit and there's two sets of holes over here on the side you want the tool to be in the front all right so when you lift this up in It's gonna lock that into place. All right. Now you can come back with the the tool. I put it here into this side, and I just kind of hold it as a little safety. All right. Then you put your pin, your locking pin, into that second hole away from you. All right. So let's go do the other side. So then rotate it around. Get my handy dandy tool, push it up in place. I just kind of hold it with my hand. It's not gonna pop out. <clears throat> but if it does, move away because it is under tension a little bit. But that's another reason why I lift it so high. So it's not under a lot of tension when I'm doing this step. It's easily controlled because if you leave it down low, you're trying to do that you're trying to lift this really hard and it's under a lot of tension and this can come back and hurt you so you lift it up a little higher than it needs to be and then there you go that's installed i got my safety pins they're all locked in so now we want to lower this back down get the foot up off the block and then let's see where our measurements are All right, foot is free and clear. Let's go check our measurements. All right, so I started at 39. Right now I'm at 36 and a quarter. So that's basically one, two, two and three quarters difference. Not the greatest. But then this was also at 36. Right now I'm at 36 and a half. I know this trailer is a, a little bit heavy for this truck. And as of that right there, if I want to adjust this more, make sure I lift it up, get the tension off, take these bars out. Then same thing, I gotta disconnect it and then I can readjust my set screw further that way to give it more tilt down 
which causes more tension on the arms that pushes more weight to the front of the truck. But I think where I'm at right now that it'll be fine for what I need to do because I'm not going to be traveling a long distance. And we're really only got to take the trailer in for the recall uh, for the propane that I talked about. And it's only a little over an hour up the road. So it's, if I was going to be hauling this trailer full time, constantly being on the road, I would go ahead and adjust this a little more. But for where we're going and what we need to do with it, it's going to be fine where it's at. Does the back of the truck squat down a little bit? Yes, it does. Does it squat down less? Now that I put the bars on, I don't know. You guys tell me. Does it look less squatted down? Most definitely. So it, it is definitely doing the job that it's supposed to be doing. And that's the whole point of it, right? And then that brake that I have here. So this brake, I can also adjust this from the other side over here and that helps with turning right and also helps with uh giving it a little more stability not wanting to to move back and forth on the road all right so there we go i got it all set in place we're going to be on the road heading north going up to mom's uh, for our teenage daughter in a week Whew, yeah we're getting old but she's turning 13 so we're going up to grandma's for her birthday for labor day uh, are we going to stop in any place i don't know we might maybe on the way back but for right now we're going to get this up get it repaired do what we need to do possibly get the air conditioning looked at if i have not been able to get up there and do all the checks and all that stuff myself <sighs> weather yeah <laughs> don't want to work on electronics in the rain but we are in the home over here for right now so we don't necessarily need the trailer right this second and we're still waiting on the house to close in virginia it closes at the end of the month that way we can start looking for our forever property all right so continue to follow our journey give us that thumbs up share us out to your friends subscribe if you definitely made it this far hey it's free y'all and always thank a veteran at every chance you get all right y'all we'll see y'all on the next one bye bye now